A uh, very good morning to you and to us and uh, everyone within your house. Very very good morning. How are you doing? How is um, how is the going this morning? Uh, the Lord has given us another opportunity and another privilege to be alive and to bless His holy name and to exalt Him and to praise Him uh, because He is God. Remember the reason for our living is that we may be able to praise Him. Uh, let all everything that has breath do what praise uh, the Lord. So we live to praise Him. We live to glorify Him. Uh, we live to magnify Him. We live to give Him praise. We thank him again uh, for another opportunity this morning to be at the Morning Rema day number four. And we are pushing and we are moving and the spirit of the Lord is moving and the Lord is doing incredible stuff. The Lord is blessing his people. The Lord is opening doors and the Lord is showing us his mercy. The Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. And I strongly believe in the name that is above every name uh, that the Lord has continued to be good to you. Uh, the Lord has continued to be kind to you. The Lord has continued to be wonderful in your life. He's the wonderful counselor. He's not just a counselor. Uh, he's the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, uh, the everlasting Prince of Peace. As you come in, uh, tag brothers and sisters that are not yet with us this morning and tell them, uh, the morning rema is on, the man of God is on, and the Lord is going to be blessing us uh, tremendously this beautiful morning. Share the video, tag your brother, uh, tag your sister, and welcome them to uh, the morning rema. The morning rema. The moment that we are going to be receiving the word of God uh, to bless our lives and to favor our lives and to set course and precedence for the day. Uh, today we are sharing on the possibility realm <clears throat> sorry we are sharing on the possibility realm where god lives where god exists good morning uh, max good morning uh Kitten. uh good morning christine good morning uh pastor good morning gamma good morning all of you that are coming on board so we are sharing on the possibility realm the month of July is our month of possibilities. The month of July is our month of seeing the impossible become possible. It is the month of possibilities. It is the month of unusual, unusual, unusual possibilities. It is the month of possibilities. The God we serve uh, told us that all things are possible. All things. All, thing, all things mean minus nothing. All things are possible to him that believe. In other words, the moment your faith steps into the scene, the moment your faith steps into work, the moment your faith goes to work, your faith is the key to all things. All things are possible uh, to him that believes. Now, that is the kind of a God that we serve. Now, the, that dimension of all, that dimension of all possibility is a dimension that is reserved for faith. It is a dimension that is a result for faith. There are a number of things that happen in that dimension. There are a number of things that happen in that realm. Now, one is that that realm is a realm of faith. I already looked at that. Now, that realm, your faith has to go alive. Yesterday, I shared with you how uh, your faith does not only go alive, uh, but your faith has to go alive in juxtaposition to the word that you hear. And so value has to be placed on the word of God in that realm and in that dimension. It is a dimension where we place value uh, in the word of God. It is a dimension where a value has to be placed in the word of God uh, because a faith cannot just be faith outside God's word. Faith cannot be faith outside God's word. So it is a dimension where the word of God is given value. Why uh, do we give the word of God value? Uh, because when you talk about all possibility, you can't talk about possibility outside the word of God. So ladies and gentlemen, therefore, uh, the word of God becomes a tool of possibility. The word of God becomes a tool of possibility. And yesterday I shared with us the value that we need to place on the word of God. Why? Because the word of God is the tool of possibility. Uh, it is a dimension of all. 
It is a dimension of all possibility. It is a dimension where all things are possible. The key word being possibility. A possibility, uh, uh, in other words, everything is possible. All things. All things means all things minus nothing. And then uh, it is a dimension of faith. It is a dimension where your faith comes alive. When I was in the village, when I was in the village after giving my life to Jesus, I think uh, two or three months after I gave my life to Jesus, a book traveled all the way to my village. I'll never know why this book uh, looked for me all the way to the village. There are three books that traveled all the way to my village when I was only three months old in the Lord, two to three months old in the Lord. And I believe that God had a purpose with these books. <sighs> I strongly believe uh, that the Lord had very strong purpose with these books, ladies and gentlemen. One of them is a book entitled The Hour That Changes the World. And The Hour That Changes the World is written by a dear servant of God. He talks about how a young believer can begin to pray for one hour nonstop. And when I was two months old in the Lord, uh, the first lesson I learned is how to pray for one hour nonstop. And then I went one hour, and after one hour, I began to push into two hours. And after two hours, I began to push into three hours. I think by the time I was about six months old in the Lord, I was already praying the whole day. I was already praying. I had already mastered the art of praying uh, the whole night. Why? Because of the book that came all the way to me. <coughs> in the village so that book began to train me on how to pray and how to pray the whole day i began with one hour then i went to i went to two hours and then i went to three hours then before i knew it addiction to pray already came upon my life why because of the book that came all the way the second book that came all the way to my village is a book by T.L. Osborne. Man, I'll never forget about that book. That book revolutionized my life. Uh, that book changed my life. That book turned my life around. That book turned my life upside down. A book by T.L. Osborne. I'll never forget that book. And T.L. Osborne would eventually begin to mentor my life in a number of dimensions by just reading that book. And I was watching the pictures in that book, it is a picture that had crusades, uh, that they are done in Africa, uh, that they are done everywhere. And that book, that is the book that first built my faith in miracle money. Uh, now, my faith in miracle money is something that began, ladies and gentlemen, way back when I was two months, three months old in the Lord. I caught faith that, you mean God can perform miracle money? You mean God can give us money miraculously? I caught that from T.L. Osborne, the great T.L. Osborne. Man, T.L. Osborne. Uh, T.L. Osborne inspired my life uh, through his book on miracle money, the ability. These things I'm sharing with you, some of them were planted in my life very early when I'd given my, immediately I gave my life uh, to the Lord. These things began to be planted in my life. Why? Because of the encounters that I had. One, the Hour That Changes the World. Number two, a book by T.L. Osborne. And this is the book that began to plant faith in my spirit about uh, miracles. And you know, all things are possible. God can do all things. And when he talks about all things, it is minus, minus nothing. <laughs> now, the book is not entitled Miracle Money. <laughs> Kiburio, the book is the title of the book is not Miracle Money. The title of the book I'll give you some other time, <laughs> but it is not Miracle Money. But that is the book that trained my faith. I began to know that all things are possible. And ladies and gentlemen, when I gave my life to the Lord as a young believer, I became so vibrant in terms of faith that my own pastor feared, man, the faith of this guy is something else. Because my faith was ignited. I became so brutal. I became so rugged. My faith, there are things I don't want to talk about when I'd just given my life to Jesus. I strongly believe that the greatest, one of the greatest gifts that is at work in my life is the gift of faith. I have a faith that is crazy. My faith is not normal faith. When the spirit of faith comes upon me, if I tell you there is a door on the wall, we will go through the wall. It is, an, it is an unusual faith. It is supernatural faith. This is not faith that you are listening to the word of God. And this is faith that comes upon my life. You know, there are different dimensions of faith. 
There is faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. There's faith that comes to you because you are hearing, and you are hearing, you are hearing, and then your faith gets built up, and then you begin to take little steps. But then there is supernatural faith. There are people that God has given them supernatural faith. One of the gifts that works in my life is supernatural faith. Now, supernatural faith, ladies and gentlemen, when that faith it gets activated, is a spirit. Let me, I don't know why uh, the teaching is going that way, but let me just try to uh, obey the Holy Spirit. Masata balo matari magadadabo sula baralite parata. Ebrogo santa la parato to sula karakabazo unto parata laiki parata. Ali bata rasa katabaki zumanda. Let me get this for you. Um, uh, glory to God. Uh, glory to God. Um, glory to Jesus. Glory to God. Second Corinthians chapter four verse thirteen. Second Corinthians chapter four verse thirteen. Now faith becomes a spirit. Faith is a spirit. Now that is a spirit that you walk with. That is, you know, this is um, how do I put it? I don't want to go that much that direction uh, because when we talk about faith, our uh, faith was imparted to our spirits. When we had the gospel, the moment we had the gospel, then faith came with the gospel. Faith was imparted to our spirit. The, the spirit of faith came to us. Faith came to us when we had the gospel. The day you had the gospel is the day faith was imparted to your spirit. And you need to understand uh, that faith is a spirit. Look at this. Um, um, the New King James Version puts it this way. And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written... We have, not we will, not it is something that is going to happen. This is something that we already have. Since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed, therefore I spoke. Not I spoke, therefore I believed. I believed, therefore I spoke. We also believed, and therefore we speak. So faith becomes a spirit. We have the same spirit of faith. Therefore, we believed. We believed, and therefore we spoke. So we are not speaking so that we can believe. We believe so that we speak. So we are speaking things that we believe. So our language in a, is an expression of our faith. So our language becomes an expression of our faith. That is why a man of faith does not just talk anyhow. If you know me very well, I don't just talk anyhow. Even when you can see certain evident things, I don't, I don't talk about what I see. I talk about what I want to see. Because faith is a, because, because your language is an expression of your faith. So you have to be very careful the things you say. Your language becomes an expression of your faith. And faith is a spirit. That faith lives with us. There is nothing I've ever said that never came to pass. There is nothing, absolutely nothing I say that fails to come to pass. Let me give you this example. Somebody said the spirit of faith. Mahandi brosolagaba. Say it again, the spirit of faith. Lobada barozo pafadadia. There is nothing I say that doesn't come to pass. And and I and, and you can you can bear me on that. You can pin me down on that. You can hold me on that. The people that know me know there is nothing I say that fails to come to pass. The place where we have built the church building right now, do you know I went to that place? when we didn't have a single coin we didn't have money we we weren't even thinking we can ever be able to buy that kind of land of course when we were buying that land it was sold to us 16 million and we paid that 16 million without a bank loan and we were paying that 16 million at a time when the ministry was shaking at a time of transition the ministry is being shaken things are shaking 2018 we are moving the church from Nairobi to Angatarongai. And that is the time that we bought the land, 16 million. I went to that plot of land and I picked a plant. I picked something that was growing in that, that plot of land where we have built the church today. And I brought it to my prayer room. And I brought it to my prayer room and my kids were wondering, Daddy, why would you bring that thing to the prayer room? Why this? And I told them, I have not brought a plant to the prayer room. I have brought that land to the prayer room. No man will buy that land except us. Nobody will buy that land except us. No, they cannot sell it to anybody else. I say that. 
when we met the owner and he gave us the amount, I told him, well, sir, um, <laughs> uh, I, I don't think we'll get a bank to help us buy this, uh, but uh, this is our land. He said, uh, uh, right, pastor, if you say it is your land, it's all right. Then I asked him, can I transfer some money to you? The money wasn't even equivalent to be called a deposit or a down payment. But listen to this, to make the long story short. We didn't need money to buy that land. We needed my faith. The moment I said that they will never sell that land to anybody else except us, that is how we tied that land. We believed and therefore we spoke. Your language is an expression of your faith. You can't say one thing and leave a different thing. You can't confess one thing and leave a different thing. You can't say one thing and leave a different thing. Because your language is the expression of your faith. Faith is a spirit that is expressed by what we say. Faith is a spirit that gets expression through our vocal cords. Our faith is expressed through our mouth. Our mouth is a weapon of faith. So what you say must never be different from what you believe. We believed and therefore we spoke. I come on it one more time. Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse number 13. And since we have the same spirit of faith. Say this with me. I have the spirit of faith. Say it again. I have the spirit of faith. Say it again. I have the spirit of faith. Say it again. I have the spirit of faith. Say it again. I have the spirit of faith. Everything I declare today, it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Everything I declare today, it comes to pass in the name of Jesus. Everything I say right now, it comes to pass in the name of Jesus. I'm going to see what I am saying. I'm going to see what I am saying. I'm going to see what I am saying. I begin to see what I am saying. I begin to witness what I am saying. I begin to walk in what I am saying. I begin to function in what I am saying. I begin to have what I am saying. So I don't need money, I need my mouth. I don't need money, I need to speak it. I don't need the connection, I need my mouth. I don't need all the resources, I need my mouth. I don't need anybody to take me there, I need my mouth. If my mouth can speak it, my hands can carry it. If my mouth can speak it, then my hands can carry it. If my mouth can say it, then my hands can, can carry it. So my hands are relying on my mouth. So I walk in what I say. I walk in what I say. I walk in what I, say. I, walk in what I declare. I walk in my declaration. My declaration is my manifestation. My declaration is my solution. My declaration is my manifestation. My declaration is my solution. Whatever I say, I begin to have. Whatever I say, I begin to walk in it. Whatever I say, I begin to possess. Whatever I say begins to be my reality. My mouth is a weapon of my desires. My mouth is a weapon of my desires. My mouth is a weapon of my future. My mouth is a weapon of what I want to see. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever I say, it comes to pass. Whatever I say, it comes to pass. Whatever I decree, it comes to pass. Whatever I say, I begin to walk in it. And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed, and therefore I spoke. We also believe, and therefore we speak. We don't speak, then we believe later. We don't speak, then we believe later. We don't speak, then we believe later. Our words are manifestations of our faith. Our words are manifestations of our faith. Our words are manifestations of our faith. Our words are expressions of our faith. I speak it and I have it. Say this with me. I speak it and I have it. I speak it. And I have it. I speak it and I have it. I speak it and I have it. I declare it and I have it. I declare it and I walk in it. I speak it and I have it. Can we sing that song? I speak it and I have it. I speak it and I have it. I declare it and I walk in it. I declare it and I walk in it. Whatever I say, I begin to have. Whatever I say, I begin to have. Whatever I decree, I begin to have. Whatever I declare, I begin to function in. Whatever I say, I begin to have. Whatever I say, I begin to have. I speak it, I have it. I speak it, I have it. I speak it, I drive it. I speak it, I build it. I speak it, I walk in it. I speak it, I travel it. I speak it, I pay it. Did you get that? So my declaration 
is a manifestation of my faith. Now listen to this. Marada sula mahandi karabaza. Le para sota rigada. Le patira zo. La pora gasatata. Le ge para tokasila. Le para sota kadii. La bara kasati bara dagosa. Job chapter 22 and verse number 28. Job chapter number 22 and verse number 28. Job 22 and verse number 28. The New King James Version says, You will also declare a thing, and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. Your declaration is a channel of light. Your declaration is a channel of light. Your declaration is a channel of light. So when there is darkness, you don't put on light. When there is darkness, you declare. When there is darkness, you speak. When there is darkness, when you can't see tomorrow, you begin to speak. When you can't see it clearly, you begin to speak. When there is darkness on anything, you begin to speak. When there is darkness in your family, you begin to speak. When there is darkness around your finances, you begin to speak. When there is darkness in your relationship, you begin to speak. When there is darkness in your marriage, you begin to speak. You will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. So declaration is the key of light. So declaration opens up light. Declaration dispels darkness. Whatever you say can bring light. Whatever you say can bring darkness. So ladies and gentlemen, Marado Zapafala, the realm of possibilities is the realm of faith. And faith is a spirit. So it is a realm where you activate the spirit of faith that is in your life. You already have the spirit of faith. When you gave your life to Jesus, the spirit of faith came upon you. When you gave your life to Jesus, the spirit of faith came upon you. When you gave your life to Jesus, there is a spirit on the inside of you that you need to activate. It is called the spirit of faith. When you are born again, there is a spirit on the inside of you. When you speak, you release that spirit. It is called the spirit of faith. Ladies and gentlemen, the only way men release what is on the inside of them is when they speak. So your declaration is expression of light. Your declaration is the expression of light. It is the termination of darkness. It is the end of darkness in your life. It is the end of darkness in anything that is confusing. You are praying about something. You are praying about the will of God. You are praying because you need divine guidance. You are praying because you need something to open up. How do you get light? You get light in declaration. This is what you say. I walk in God's divine will. I walk in God's purpose. I walk in divine direction. Divine direction will never come until you begin to walk in it. I walk in divine direction. I walk in divine direction. I walk in purpose. I walk in clarity. I walk in divine leading. I walk in prosperity. I walk in divine abundance. I walk in supernatural provision. I walk in supernatural overflow. I walk in divine leading. I walk in divine provision. Ladies and gentlemen, your declaration is the arrival of light. Your declaration is the establishment of whatever it is you need to do. You want to build a house. You establish that house by your declaration. You want to buy a car. Whenever you speak it, whenever you speak it, you establish it. You will declare a thing and that thing will be established. You will say something and that thing will be established. Declaration is speaking it with authority. Declaration is speaking it with conviction. Declaration is not saying it like, okay, it may happen, it may not happen. I don't know. Declaration is saying it with a sense of conclusion. You shall declare a thing. You shall say, I drive my BMW. I drive Maradi Baza. I drive my Range Rover. I drive my limo. I drive my Audi. I drive my Volvo. I drive. That is what we call a declaration. Declaration is not um, if the Lord wills, uh, somehow, somehow, if, if the Lord wills, or if the Lord desires, or somehow, somehow, uh, you know, my brother also, we must find out the will of God. Uh, if God wants it, it will happen. Somehow, if the Lord uh, 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 permits it, maybe one year from today, I may have somebody in my life, but I don't know. You know, this life, you leave it for God. Forget all that madness. That is not what God is saying. Declaration is saying it with a sense of conclusion. You will not sell this land to anybody else except to me. The spirit of faith is at work. Declaration says we are moving at the weekend. We, uh, uh, over the weekend, we are moving from here to there. Now, 
when you make a declaration, declaration does not depend on circumstances. You just say, this weekend we are moving. This weekend we are moving. Somebody asks you, do you have enough money? Do you have enough money, sir? Uh, do you know how things are going to happen there? Uh, what is happening? How do you just say you are moving? Uh, 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 do you have some money? Declaration does not look at the circumstances. Declaration looks at the end result. Declaration is conclusive. Declaration is done with authority. Declaration does not beg. Declaration does not look at factors. Factors bow to declaration. Declaration is not a prophecy you make because you have looked at the conditions. Declaration makes factors bow. Declaration, ladies and gentlemen, makes everything else bow. Declaration makes everything else line up with what you have said. Because it is a word given with a sense of declaration. Declaration is a command. A word given with a sense of conclusion. Ah, you will also declare a thing. And it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. So the moment you make declaration, light begins to shine. The moment you make declaration, light accompanies what you have said. The moment you make declaration, darkness leaves. The moment you make declaration, darkness bows. The moment you make declaration, some sense of light comes. A clearance comes. Walls come down. Barriers are broken. When you make a declaration, a leading begins to come. You shall declare a thing. What you are declaring is a thing. So long as it is called a thing, so long as it is a matter, you declare it. You just say it. You say it with a sense of authority. Ladies and gentlemen, why? Because we have the same spirit of faith. Ladies and gentlemen, faith will never work until faith finds expression through declaration. Zalama Takasa. I say it. I walk in it. 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 I speak my house. I build my house. I speak my car. I drive my car. I speak my house. I build my house. I speak my journey. I travel. I speak my visa. I have my visa. I speak my promotion. I walk in my promotion. Some of you today, you need to go and sit on a seat you want to occupy. You need to sit on a seat that you want to occupy. You need to walk into that office very early when nobody, when everybody is away. And if you can find that seat, go and sit on it. So long as the CCTV cameras are not beaming on you, or even if the cameras are on you, just go and sit on it and say something. I speak it and I have it. I speak it and I have it. I speak it and it manifests. I speak it and I begin to live in it. I speak it and I begin to operate in it. I speak it and I begin to go that direction. I speak it and it comes to me. I speak it and I have it. Let, let me give you a short version. I was driving a particular car. It's a very good car. But at that time, I'd never driven a Mercedes-Benz car. And you know, I was dreaming about Mercedes-Benz car. I wanted to drive a Mercedes. I wanted that car. And then one evening, I drove into the parking. And um, one of my pastors came to me and said, Sir, I feel right now you deserve a Mercedes-Benz. Ah! I told him, Pastor, how did you see that? I told him, I don't only deserve it. I think next week I'll drive a Mercedes into this parking. I didn't say next month. I didn't say next year. I didn't say when, when money comes. I didn't say when God changes the situation. I told that pastor, I think next week I will drive a Mercedes into this parking. Ha! Ah. But because he had seen the number of things that happen when I say things, he said, the, the way he said conviction, the way his conviction, the way his amen came with conviction, it even inspired my faith. Then I was traveling that evening to, that I think the following day to Kisumu for a meeting. And one of my spiritual sons who was in security, was dealing with security matters, came to pick me at the airport. And when he came to pick me at the airport, he came with the red Mercedes Benz to pick me. Ah, I entered the Mercedes. He drove me to the hotel and I told him I like this car. And this is what he said. Daddy, if a father likes something, this was a guy who was very senior. 
in terms of security matters. I was just telling him, I think I like this car. Oh my God, it's a beautiful car. Do you know what the man said? You are my father. I was planning to sell it. But if you like it, it is yours. You shall say it. You shall have it. You shall say it. You shall have it. I speak it. <clears throat> I speak it and I have it. You shall say it and you shall have it. You shall say it and you shall have it. I declare it and I walk in it. I declare it and I walk in it. I declare it and I have it. I declare it and I walk in it. You shall also declare a thing. Job chapter number 22 and verse number 28. You will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. The day before I said it, the day following, he said, if you like it, then have it. I came down, I took the key, I drove the car. And I told him, why are you planning to sell it? He said, actually, sir, uh, there is something that I wanted to do for you. And uh, that is why I was planning to sell it. I told him this. I like it, but I love a brand new one. So now, uh, instead of giving it to me, just go ahead and sell it. I receive it, but sell it, and then give me the money. Ladies and gentlemen, the very, I came back to Nairobi, and another one week from that time, I traveled to Mount Kenya to go and preach. Now, remember, I said it is time for me to start driving a Mercedes. And the first miracle came the day following. And now I came back a week later. I traveled to Mount Kenya, ladies and gentlemen, to go and preach. And I preached one week. And on a Monday, when the man of God is supposed to release me to come back to Nairobi, the man of God drives a C180 Mercedes-Benz, uh, a navy blue with uh, gray leather seats drives a C-180 Mercedes-Benz and parks it in front of his office. And he tells me, a man of God, Apostle Olo, for becoming such a blessing to us. Uh, we, we, we wouldn't want to give you money. This is what I want to give to you. This is our gift to you after blessing us for one week. I didn't tell him, give me a car. I didn't tell him, I want a car. I didn't tell him, oh, oh, I need a Mercedes. The first one came weeks before. And here it is. He drove it and parked it in front of me. Maladega Sabaradie. What was that? A C180 Mercedes-Benz compressor. Ladies and gentlemen, I drove from Mount Kenya back to Nairobi in that Mercedes-Benz. Another three weeks down the line. Maradi gave us so palata. Regeba Saladie. Another Mercedes. I said it and here it is. Whatever I want to declare over your life. Are you ready this morning? What are you battling? We want to declare it this morning. The possibility realm, ladies and gentlemen, is the realm of faith. Is the realm of faith. And faith is a spirit that works with the declaration. All things are possible to him that believes. In that realm of faith. In that dimension of faith. In that realm of faith. It is a realm where you operate by faith. Remember, one of the books that came all the way to me in the village is a book entitled, When Your Faith Says Yes, God Cannot Say No. When your faith says yes, God can say no. God cannot say no. When your faith says yes, 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 not your money, but your faith. When your faith says yes, not your money, but your faith. Not your connections, but your faith. When your faith says yes. When your faith says yes to healing. When your faith says it is right now for your deliverance. When your faith says yes for that promotion. When your faith says yes for that open door. When your faith says yes right now for the money you are looking for. When your faith endorses the money. When your faith endorses abundance. When your faith endorses an open door. When your faith says yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that possibility realm is the realm of faith. And faith is a spirit that operates by declaration. You believe it, you declare it. You believe it, you declare it. I say it, I have it. I said it, Mercedes 1, Mercedes 2, Mercedes 3. I say it, Mercedes 1, Mercedes 2, Mercedes 3. Now say this with me. Your own case may not be a Mercedes. 
your own case may just be a car that you are looking for. I said, car number one, car number two, car number three. I said, house number one, house number two, house number three. I said, job number one, job number two, job number three. I said, visa number one, visa number two, visa number three. When your faith, not your money, when your faith, not your connections, when your faith, not somebody you know, when your faith, not your pockets, when your faith, when your faith says yes, your faith has to speak. I said, I have it. 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 What is the it? 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 I speak my house. I have my house. I speak my promotion. I have my promotion. I speak my car. I have my car. I speak my open door. I have my open door. I speak my glory. I have my glory. I speak my marriage. I have my marriage. I speak my relationship. I have my relationship. I speak my car. I have my car. I speak my promotion. I have my promotion. I speak my tender. I have my tender. I speak my house. I have my house. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you're supposed to be doing it. I speak my house. I have my house. I speak my tender. I have my tender. I speak my promotion. I have my promotion. I speak my open door. I have my open door. I speak my marriage. I have my marriage. I speak my relationship. I have my relationship. I speak my money. I have my money. I speak my debt cancellation. I have my debt cancellation. I speak this. I have this. I speak it. I have it. I say 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 it. I have it. Give it a time limit as well. <coughs> Give it a time limit as well. I speak it. I have it. I say it. I have it. I say it. I have it. I say it. I have it. What is it you are saying? I speak it. I have it. I speak it. I have it. Remember, all things are possible. Remember, all things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. It is called the possibility realm. It is a realm where we talk like madmen. It is a realm where we speak to a parking. It is a realm where we speak to a womb that cannot carry a baby. It is a realm where we talk to a house that we don't have the millions to build. It is a realm where we speak to a job in a country where we don't even have a visa. It is a realm of possibilities. It is a realm where we claim visas to countries that are very reserved. It is a realm where we speak it and we have it. What are you speaking this morning? I speak it, I have it. 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 I speak my marriage. I have my marriage. I speak my restoration. I have my restoration. I speak my children. I have my children. I declare my house. I have my house. I declare my car. I have my car. I declare my debt cancellation. I have my debt cancellation. I declare my promotion. I have my promotion. I declare my abundance. I have my abundance. I declare my open door. I have my open door. I declare my connection. I have my connection. I decree it and I have it. 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 I speak it and I have it. I speak it and I have it. I decree it and I have it. Mercedes one, Mercedes two, Mercedes three, job number one, job number two, job number three, job number one, job number two, job number three, house number one, house number two, house number three, promotion one, promotion two, promotion three. I speak it and I have it. Why? And since we have the same spirit of faith, we believe, therefore we speak. Job says, look at this. You shall also declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. So declaration, Manarega Satabaria, Lopata Riga Sabada, Lepete Gebasa, Radiki Peter Lassanda. So ladies and gentlemen, declaration is the release of light. Declaration is the release of light. Declaration is the release of light. When you speak it, you bring light. 
When you speak it, you bring light. When you speak it, you release 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 light. When you speak it, you usher light. When you speak it, you release light. When you speak it, you usher in light. When you speak it, you release light. When you speak it, you release light. Declaration is the arrival of light. How do I bring light? By declaration. By speaking it. You shall declare a thing. I said, next week I'll drive a Mercedes into this parking. The parking of the church. And the following day, the first Mercedes. Two weeks later, another Mercedes. Before the end of one month, another Mercedes. What kind of witchcraft is this? Because I know some of you are saying, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. How many of you used to dream that you are going on a short call in the night when you are a baby or when you are a toddler or when you are five years? When you are 18, when you are 18, when you are 20, you are going on a short call um, somewhere in a plantation somewhere. And then it happens in real life. And then it happens in real life. And then it happens in real life. You have messed up things. Now, listen to me. If you can if you can dream bad things, Arabasa, if you can dream bad things, if you can dream bad things and they come to pass, you can dream good things and they come to pass. If you can say wrong things, I don't know what is wrong with me, I don't know what happens to me, I don't know how how I don't know why things are bad with me, and it comes to pass. If you can speak negative things and it comes to pass, you can speak positive things and they come to pass. God's apostle, God bless you. Declaration is the arrival of light. It is the arrival of light. You want to bring light on anything, you must master the art of declaration. In Genesis chapter 1, from verse number 1, Genesis chapter 1, from verse number 1, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. Darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Verse number 3, then God said, darkness was on the face of the deep. Labaraza. <laughs> Uliota unasusuka susuku wa matra, kwa, uka susuku wa matres, uka susuku wa blanketi. Wengine ulikuwa unasusu mpaka kwa kichwa. Unamuka unakuta imeenda mpaka kwa kichwa. Unakuta, unamuka, unacha, unakula viboko. Your dreams came to pass. Your dreams came true. Your dreams manifested. It is the same way good dreams can come to pass in your life. I come again on it. In the beginning, Genesis 1.1, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. Light came, ladies and gentlemen, as a result. Maraga Sepata. As a result of God's declaration. God said, let there be light. And there was light. The light you have not seen is the light you have not declared. The reason there is confusion in everything is because you have not spoken. The reason you are seeing things going the way you don't want is because you have not brought things to order. The reason you are receiving just little, little money here and there is because you have not released light. You have not unleashed light. You have not attracted light. You have not commanded light by your mouth. Ah, let there be light in this money situation. Let there be light concerning my debts. Let there be light concerning my marriage. Let there be light concerning my children. Let there be light concerning my health. When you open your mouth, you release light. When you put the word of God in your mouth and you release it, you release light. The word of God is light. Ladies and gentlemen, God said, let there be light. Let there be light. Darkness covered the surface of the deep. The spirit of God was hovering over the waters. No matter how much the spirit is moving, until you open your mouth and say something, things will remain at a standstill. And God said, let there be light. The possibility realm is the declaration realm. Why? Because it is the realm of faith. We believed, therefore we spoke. You shall, you shall declare a thing, it will be established. So God looked at the darkness and God said, the only way to bring light in this darkness is to open my mouth and speak. And if God opens his mouth and speaks to bring light, then child of God, light will not come automatically to you. You have to open your mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, then God said, let there be light. And there was light. You are created in the image and in the likeness of God. Until you open your mouth and you make declarations, there are things you will not see. Declaration is a word of authority. 
is a word of establishment. You shall declare a thing and it shall be established. Your words are creative forces. Your words create your future. Stop wasting words. Stop arguing with people. Stop arguing unnecessarily. Your words are weapons of creation. Your words are weapons of the next level. Then God said, let there be light. The possibility realm is a realm of faith, is a realm of declaration, is a realm where you say what you want to see. It is a realm, not a realm where you see something, then you say. It is a realm where you say something, then you see it. It is a declaration realm. You shall declare a thing and the thing will be established. Your declaration is your establishment. God spoke light. You must speak light. You must declare light. You must open your mouth. And as you speak, light comes. As you speak, light comes. You have woken up this morning. Things are madika parazo. Things are very low. Things are down. Maradiga salabada. Look at this. Labara zota kabaralienda zota. Labarizata. Lebekete barara. Le parasataka. Lege mavarasa. Le poro tabaza. Ibaga zonda lata. Look at Job 22. Verse 29. Job 22. Verse number 29. Maradiko sa batalari. Le bada kosa baradi. Zele para tota. Le ke paradaz. Job 22. Verse number 29. Job 22. Verse number 29. Rage pata. Le prado zubata. Ibava koza mata. Le ge brazo. Lampara takiza. Leba. Labatora. Ligata. The New King James Version puts it this way. When they cast you down. When, when they cast you down. And you say. Exaltation will come. Then you will save the humble person. That one doesn't bring it out very well. The original King James Version puts it this way. When men are cast down. Then thou shalt say. There is a lifting up. And he shall save the humble person. Look at that. When men are cast down, when people are going down, when things are going down, when things are sinking, when things are becoming bad, when men say, when men are cast down, when men are humiliated, when the economy is not good, when giving is not good, when churches are sinking, when churches are collapsing, when your ministry is going down every day, things are changing, people that were supporting you are leaving, everything is breaking down, the man that was in your life is leaving. Things are breaking down. There is no work. People are being fired. Things are going down. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this one more time. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, there is a lifting up, and he shall save the humble. So when men are going down, you don't speak going down. You don't say going down. You don't cooperate with going down. You don't add words of going down. You don't talk like everybody else. You don't go there. You don't speak the way they are speaking. You don't talk the way they are talking. You don't talk, man of God, right now. Right now, man of God. <clears throat> right now, man of God. Everybody is sinking. Everybody is closing. There's no money. Businesses are bad. Everybody is managing. Everybody is sinking. My neighbors have closed. All of them that were here, they have moved out. Let me tell you this. In one of our businesses, and I know you know that by the grace of God, I do a whole lot of things. In one of our businesses, the other day, I looked at the entire ground floor. And I discovered that so many people have moved out. And the people who have come in are new people. Then I was talking to my ma mama, and I was asking mama, what is happening? I'm seeing very new people in the parking and all that. And mama told me, my husband, business has not been easy with many people. Then I asked her mama, but how have we stood? And mama told me, the operation of divine principles. We don't operate like them. As a child of God, you don't operate like the world. You don't talk like the world. You don't say what they are saying. You may be working in the same company. All of you are being fired. There are no jobs. People are being relieved of their duties. People are closing down. This is the reality. But as a child of God, you don't talk like that. When men are being cast down, when men are being demoted, when men are losing their jobs, when men are losing business, then you will use your mouth and say that in the middle of this going down, 
there is a lifting up. A child of God does not talk like the world. Your mouth is your lifting. Your mouth is your rising. Your declaration is your lifting. Your declaration is your promotion. Your declaration is your rising. Your declaration is your rising. Your declaration is your rising. When you open your mouth, light to go up comes upon your life. When you speak it, you begin to rise. When you speak it, you begin to rise. When you speak it, you begin to rise. Your declaration is your rising. Your declaration is your rising. And because mama knows I don't tolerate certain things, she said, we cannot sink. And we, we, we asked her, how have we survived? She said, the operation of supernatural principles. We don't operate like them. Number one, we pay our tithe. Number two, we give, we, we, we give to ministers of God. Number three, we stand with the weak, the fatherless, the motherless, the helpless that we help in society. So we don't operate like the world. Our faith is not in our income. Our faith is in our declaration. Our faith is in what I say. I declare it and I rise. When men say there is a casting down, when men are cast down, then we shall say there is a lifting up. Maragere patalabuza, matarigasa, lepa farasa, legene managa. Say this with me. This is my morning to rise. 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 I rise in the name of Jesus. 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 The possibility realm is the declaration realm. The possibility realm is the realm of faith. The possibility realm is the declaration realm. The possibility realm is the rising realm. The possibility realm is the climbing realm. I rise in the name of Jesus. Arise in the name of Jesus. I 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 arise in the name of Jesus. Lagapata Salabadi. Lo parata kasede bagadi. Lo botora sadia. Le pere keteka. La poro zakata. Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter number 60. Madozo paratali na heba gazo. Lo para di hesadaka. Le bagatosa baradienda. La barariyanda, la barariyanda, la barariyanda, zekidi banta, zebere I arise, I arise, I arise, I arise, I arise. Please say it with me. I arise, I arise, I arise. It doesn't matter what is going down. I arise. It doesn't matter how much people go down. I arise. It doesn't matter how many ministries are sinking. I arise. It doesn't matter who is saying we give up. I arise. Look at Isaiah 60 from verse 1. Arise, oh Bakada, arise, 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 arise. Till you arise, you cannot shine. Arise, shine, for your light has come. Job tells us, you shall declare a thing. It shall be established for you. So light will shine in darkness. So your declaration is your light. Your declaration is the invasion of your light. When you say it, you bring light. Job said, you shall declare a thing. It will be established. Job said to us, Job said that when men are cast down, when men are going down, when men are sinking, when men are not seeing the way out, when men are feeling like they are going down, everything is sinking. Then you will say, there is a lifting up. You will open your mouth and you will speak lifting. Isaiah 60 verse 1, Arise, shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Verse number two says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness shall cover the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. In other words, even when the world is sinking, a child of God will not sink. Even when the world is going down, darkness will cover everything. The nations of the earth are crying. The crumbling economies. You know that? The climate change. People are victims of recession and all those, those stuff. Every country is crying. Every nation is crying. Things are going down. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. The Lord will arise over you 
and his glory will be seen upon you. And when the glory of God is upon you, verse number three, the Gentiles shall come to your light and the kings to the brightness of your rising. Look at verse four. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons will come from far and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Verse number five. Then you shall see and become radiant and your heart shall swell with joy because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. The wealth of the Gentiles will come to you. The wealth of the people of the world will come to you. Even in this moment when things are sinking, the wealth of the Gentiles are coming to you. The wealth of the people that don't fear God are coming to you. Someone will bless you today that don't even believe. Someone will bless you today that does not even believe God. Someone will bless you today that does not even know the Lord. Someone will bless you today that does not even have faith. Someone will bless you today that is not even a child of God. The wealth of the Gentiles will be brought to you. The wealth of the Gentiles will come to you. Why? Because you have a reason and you are shining. You rise and you shine. Get ready to do business with men and women who don't even know God. Somebody said that if you want your business to sink, let all your business partners be Christians. It will sink. Build a hotel for Christians alone. It will sink. I don't know what is wrong with Christians. But the Lord says, the wealth of the Gentiles will come to you. Why? Because you arose and you decided to shine. When the people say there is, when people are going down, then you'll open your mouth and say, there's a lifting up. As you walk into your business today, you begin to say, lifting, lifting. There's a lifting up for my business. There's a lifting up for my business. There's a lifting up for my ministry. There's a lifting up for what I do. There's a lifting up for my gift. There's a lifting up for everything I touch. There's a lifting up for my proposals. There's a lifting up for my resume. There's a lifting up for my portfolio. There's a lifting up. Whatever I touch, there is a lifting up. Whatever I touch, there's a lifting up. Men are saying there is a casting down. Men are going down. But you say there's a lifting up. Your mouth is your rising. Your mouth is your lifting. Your declaration is your rising. Your declaration is is your lifting malaga supatara le parazunda lege parata sele magada ladies and gentlemen the possibility realm maradosa is the realm of faith and the realm of faith is the realm of declaration not dormant faith but declared faith your words are the expression of your faith your words are the expression of your faith we see your faith when we look at your words we see your faith when we see the things you write we see your faith when we see the things you are saying your words are your faith. They are the expressions of your faith. Look at this. Look at this. In Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21. Proverbs 18 21. Proverbs 18 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. I speak it. I give it life. I speak it. I give it life. I speak it. I give it life. Then God said, let there be light. God spoke light and darkness disappeared. I speak it. I give it life. You can kill it by what you are saying. Even when it has little strength to survive, you can kill it by what you are saying. And you can give it life by what you are saying. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those that love it, when you love using your tongue well, they are fruits of the tongue. You will see results. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. The New Living Translation says, the tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. There are consequences of what you say. There are consequences when you speak a lifting. When you speak a lifting, God said, let there be light. God did not complain about darkness. He said, let there be light. And what was the consequence? Light appeared. And God saw that the light was good. So good came when God spoke. When you speak, there are consequences of saying anything. When you decide to talk like the world, there are consequences. You will see the consequences. When you decide to talk like a believer, there are consequences. I arise. I arise. I arise. 
I arise. I arise. I arise. I arise. The glory of the Lord is risen on me. I arise. The glory of the Lord is risen on me. I arise. So the tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat the fruit thereof. I arise. I arise. I arise. I arise and you see results. I arise and you see results. When you decide to talk like the world also, there are results. Look at this. Malada kisa paradu zalabadadi. Le para satika. La madi goza. Le patarasa. Lobika taragasa. Let's turn to the book of James chapter 3. The book of James. James chapter 3. Le mada kaso paralinda. Le tebaza. Le beta kasadari. Le batakara. La paratasa. Koba dazala. In verse number 2 says, For we all. Okay. Let's go to verse number 4. Verse number 5. We pick it from verse 5. James 3 from verse 5. Even so the tongue is a little member of the. A little member. And boasts great things. The tongue is a little member. The tongue is a little member. And boasts great things. See how great a forest. A little fire kindles. And the tongue is a fire. A world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members. That it defines the whole body. And sets on fire the course of nature. And it is set on fire by hell. Now listen. The tongue is a fire. Your tongue can light up godly fire. And your tongue can light up dark fire. Your tongue can burn down everything. Your tongue can build stuff. But your tongue can burn down everything. Your tongue can burn down stuff. And your tongue can begin to build good. The tongue is a fire. You can put some fire to work this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, the realm of faith, the possibility realm is the realm of faith is a realm where all things are possible. But it is a realm of declaration. It is a realm where you receive what you have said. It is a realm where you have to speak it so that you can be able to see it. I close with Romans chapter 4. And let us begin it from around verse number 14. Around verse number 15 thereby. Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. Salima gatara simada le paro sata leke mataboza likita. Let's begin it from around verse 14. La panto brasa lige pata sabada. Let's begin it from verse 13. For the, the promise that he would be heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if those who are of the law are heirs, faith is made void and the promise made. Of no effect. I'll one day teach on that. Because the law brings about wrath. For where there is no law, there is no transgression. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be according to grace. So that the promise might be sure to all the seed. Not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the seed of, uh, uh, who are of the faith of Abraham. Who is the father of us all. Verse 17, very key now. As it is written, I've made you a father of many nations. In the presence of him whom he believed, God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Verse 18, who contrary to hope, in hope Abraham believed, so that he became the father of many nations, according to what was spoken, so shall your descendants be. I love verse 19, and not being weak in faith, not being weak in faith. He did not consider his own body already dead, since he was about a hundred years old, and the deadness of Sarah's womb, he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but he was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. He was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. Abraham was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. But here is the main thing. Mataka solaba, le pratokosa, le le prata. God who gives life to the dead. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, in this realm of possibility, in this realm where all things are possible, one of the things we are told is Abraham was as good as dead. His body was dead. Sarah's womb was dead.
But what did they do? Abraham did not grow weak through unbelief, but he was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. There are a number of things that Abraham did. Now, number one, Abraham did not consider his own body as dead. In this realm of possibilities, you must remove your eyes from the things that are talking to you. The apparent circumstances, the apparent situations, the things that are talking to you, the things that are telling you we are here, the things that are telling you, look at this. You are trying to speak faith, but look at this. You are speaking faith, but look at this. You are speaking faith, but look at that. You are speaking faith, but look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible tells us in verse number 17, Abraham did not consider his own body that was already dead. He didn't look at that. He removed his eyes from that. I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed, God that gives life to the dead and calls those things that did not exist as though they did. God gives life to the dead. In this realm and in this dimension, nothing is dead. There is nothing at all that is dead. Things that look like they are over, they are not over. Deals that no longer come, that you think are dead. Dead relationships, dead bank accounts, dead contracts, dead body organs, dead cells in the body, jobs that are dying, influence that is dying, ministry that is dying, wealth that is dying, names that are dying, things that are dying. You look at your life right now and it's like certain things are dying. Certain things are checking out. Certain things are coming to an end. It is like stuff. They are just things that are dying. Things are just going down. Things are just checking out. You are looking at certain things and you can't seem to explain them. It's like something is dying. Something is going down. God that gives life to the dead. In this realm, you remove your eyes from the dead stuff in this dimension and God gives life to the dead. Lemaka prasotaba. Abraham did not grow weak in faith, but Abraham was strengthened. What was he doing? He began to give glory to God. How was Abraham giving glory to God? Lord, I thank you for Isaac. The body is weak, but thank you for Isaac. The money is not there, but thank you that the rent is paid. The door is shut, but thank you for the open door. The money is not there to pay Malage Bravo Sata, Libara for the mortgage, but thank you that the mortgage is paid. The money is not there to sort out the rent, but thank you the rent is paid. Maliba Kara Sabavi, Libada. The man is not there to supply building materials today, but Lord, we thank you for the building materials. Do you know what Abraham was doing? <coughs> Abraham was thanking God for what was not yet there. Abraham began to thank God. His body is dead, but he began to thank God. The womb of Sarah was dead, but Abraham began to thank God. Abraham began to bless God. Abraham began to thank God. Abraham began to bless God. You are jobless this morning. Quickly, thank God for a job. Thanksgiving is the highest level. Is the highest level of prayer. When you thank God for it, you are telling God it has come. When you thank God for it, you are telling God it is here. When you thank God for it, you are telling God it has happened. When you thank God for it, you are telling God it has manifested. You open your mouth. And you call the things that are not there as though they are there by thanking God for them. Thank you for rent. Thank you for, for this breakthrough. Thank you for the money. Thank you for the supply. Thank you for the increase. Thank you for the growth. Thank you for supernatural healing. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for the open door. Thank you the curse is broken. Thank you the hindrance is removed. Thank you for connections. Thank you for the supernatural opening. Thank you for the supernatural blessing. Thank you that it is done. Thank you that it is done. Thank you that it is done. And now I want you to thank God for that thing that you have declared. Thank you that the rent is supplied. Thank you the money is supplied. Thank you the hospital bill is paid. Thank you the car is serviced. Thank you the door is open. Thank you the money has come. Thank you this has happened. Thank you that is done. Thank you that is done. Thank you for my money. Abraham's body is dead. Abraham has gone past the age of getting children. But Abraham is thanking God for Isaac. The way to keep your faith strong is to begin to thank God for things that are not yet there. You begin to thank God. Lord, thank you for it. Lord, thank you for it. Thank you for a Benz in this parking. Thank you for a range in this parking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for a couch in this empty house. Thank you for the kind of TV that I need over here. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. You buy a toy. You put it there. Thank you for the clients. How many clients do you need today? Thank you for the clients. Thank you for the money. Thank you that the accounts are doing well. Abraham did not grow weak through faith, 
but was strengthened. In that dimension, we are not trying to make anything happen. In that dimension, we are thanking God it has happened. All things are possible. All things are possible. The possibility realm is the realm where it has already happened. It is the realm of declaration. It is the realm of gratitude. It is the realm where you thank God for it. It is the realm where you call it, it is done. Even God that gives life to the dead and calls the things that are not there as though they are there. God calls them that they are not there. You begin to thank God for them. That nobody will buy this land except us. Nobody will drive this car except me. Nobody will go except me. That the dying things are receiving life. Anything that is dead in your life, begin to thank God. It is back to life. 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 The opportunities that once died in your life, they are back to life. The doors that once died on you, they are back to life. The destiny help us that once died on you, they are back to life. They are back to life. They are back to life. Even God that gives life to the dead. In that realm, nothing is dead. In that dimension, there is nothing that is dead. In that dimension, what you are calling dead is alive. In that dimension, the money that you thought you lost is back. In that dimension, the doors you thought are shut, you begin to thank God for them. Type this three times, ladies and gentlemen, as I close. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Let's go on a gratitude break. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Type that three times. Type that seven times. Type that eight times. You are believing God for something, one thing. You type once, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are believing God for two things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Three things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go on a praise break. Jambi, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whatever it is, I join my faith with your faith. Rachel, thank you. Shiro, thank you. I join my faith with your faith. Uh, Carol, thank you. I join my faith with your faith. Innocent, thank you. I join my faith with your faith. Terry, thank you. I join my faith with your faith. It is a realm of gratitude. It is a realm where it has happened. It is a dimension where it has happened. David, I join my faith with your faith. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Natasha, thank you, Jesus. Melissa, thank you, Jesus. Malaki Baraz, Terry, thank you, Jesus. Lagiba Vorosa, Lapata, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, all things are possible. Thank you, all things are possible. Thank you, all things are possible. We bless you for it. Mercy, we bless you for it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that all things are possible. The possibility realm is not just a realm where you pray. It is a realm where you make a declaration. It is a realm where you thank God for it. It is a realm where it has happened. It is a realm where it has manifested. It is a realm where you look at something that is dead and you thank God for it. The possibility realm. You say it and you have it. Stay away from negative declarations. It is a realm where you say it and what happens? You say it and you have it. You say it and you have it. You say it and you activate it. We call it the realm of possibility. Possibility realm is the realm where you say it and you have it. As you say it, and you have it. As you say it, you have it. Maleka para sota, lege marabaza, lopoto kabaria, dekebata, lege brazota, matari zinda, lakabo zota, lege parata. You declare it, and you have it. You declare it, and you have it. You declare it, and you have it. Danford writing, he says, I arrived home safely from church today. I'm thanking God that even as I came expectantly to receive a miracle, God's grace and power that was available in the service has touched and delivered me. As we went into prayers, as you declared from the top of everyone's head to defeat anything hiding in our systems, leave. I felt power run through me and I knew God has touched me personally. Something that was laying a claim of my health has been broken. For the whole of this week, I experienced an unusual nausea all the days long accompanied with 
some something that was stuck in my throat that made me feel as though I was being strangled. I went for checkups. I did all the tests, but the doctors confirmed that I was very okay and healthy, with no illness diagnosed. Then I knew that something fishy was going on. But Papa, your God has completely set me free. I celebrate an instant deliverance miracle straight from the service because I did not leave with that feeling. It has disappeared and I am free. Praise the Lord forever. God bless you, Papa. This is what happened to this guy. You know, tonight we are having <coughs> communion and warfare service. There will be an online communion and warfare service. And I will be back in the communion service at, at, at around 6 o'clock, between 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. You better stay tuned because it will be heavy. Prepare your, communions, your communion. Uh, there will be no physical service today, but I will be coming to serve communion uh, online. We will have a communion service tonight, so get ready for it. And miracles will happen. No limitation. Miracles, signs, and wonders will happen. Esther says, praise the Lord, Pastor. After yesterday's prayer, my daughter was totally healed. I'm grateful to God for using you. It happened through Facebook. I will not fight my helpers. Who else is this? Josephine says, praise God, man of God. I'm grateful to God for adding test to my life all through this year. I appreciate you for the deliverance Thursdays. I've received my plot title deed um, uh, since 2018. I have received it. I've also received my car and many more. Thank you very much, man of God. That is Josephine's testimony. Since 2018, since 2018, since 2018, God, I just did it. I just I says, thank you, man of God, um, uh, for the book. Um, um, this is just as I uh, thank you, man of God, for the book and the shopping you and mama gave me today. I'm grateful. As the economy is suffocating us, you give us room to breathe. Thank you for wiping my tears. God will one day wipe your tears as well. Allow me to read this. Uh, this is from uh, Brother Jory Mokelo, and he says, And the God of Apostle Maurice Olo, I've seen this God. There is a day I wrote you in the comment section that I dreamt that you held my hand and crossed with me a certain bridge. Whenever I'm going through a lot, I pray and I say, The God of Maurice Olo, the God of Maurice Olo, the God of Maurice Olo. Three months ago, my daughter died after being in the ICU for two months. I felt that everything was crumbling down, and I remembered the God of Maurice Olo. Yesterday, man of God, I was honored with the gift of a Mercedes-Benz car, and I honor your God, Papa. I still remember in 2022 when I was going through a lot, and I didn't even have food to eat in the house, together with my children. I texted you through WhatsApp, and you sent me money. God bless you, sir. May the God of this generation, may the God of our fathers continue honoring you. Ladies and gentlemen, somebody who was going without food, he discovered something. And, and any time he's going through a challenge, I didn't say that is what you ought to do. He says, the God of Maurice Olo, the God of Maurice Olo. Sir, why? Because there's a grace that God has placed in my life. Now God has blessed him. God has lifted him. The man is now driving a Mercedes-Benz. Together with the challenges, the Lord came through for him. I want you to touch this God as well. This morning, I want you to give to God. I want you to sow a seed. As you declare something, let it happen to you. As you declare something this morning, you have declared a lot of, a lot of things. Now, I want you to seal it with an offering, with a seed. I've seen this God. I just want to say something over your life this morning. I want to speak over you in WhatsApp, in messages. So after you do your giving, ladies and gentlemen, copy the transaction, send it to me on WhatsApp, send it to me on message. I just want to declare a word over your life. I just want to speak and agree with you that what you have said, as you have said it, you are seeing it. It is coming to pass in your life, in your family, whatever it is that you have made a declaration. Take an offering this morning and let's give to God. Let's sow a seed. I always tell people, giving is better than begging. Giving is better than begging. You don't want to beg, beg, beg. Start giving. I'm a giver. I will never beg. As we give this morning, as you declare it, so it comes to pass. The Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. The Lord be gracious to you. All things are possible. And I leave you by saying, if it is God, it is God. If it is not God, it is not God at all. 
Good morning.